Hey everyone, you should have seen this blood overlay effect in many shooting games. And this visual indicator is a pretty good thing to show that the player is in low health or currently taking a damage. Now the standard way is to use an image and show it at the top of the screen. But the problem arises when you resize the screen. The entire image gets stretched and distorted. So the solution for this is to use different image according to the size of the screen. This is something that has been used by web developers for a long time. So first of all, I got this image from the internet, which I will show when the screen is in landscape mode. Then I create another image by rotating it 90 degrees, which I will show when the screen is in portrait mode. And at last, I cut the space in between and make it a square. This is the image I will show when the screen's aspect ratio is nearly about 1 is to 1. Well, that's enough talking. Let's now open Godot and create it. First, I'm going to use a canvas layer node for the root of the screen so that this stays at top of everything. Next, I will add a texture rect node under it and set its anchor to cover the entire area. Now, you don't have to set an image now as we are going to set it through the code. So, add a script to it and then we will connect the item rect changed signal to the script. This will trigger when there is a change in the screen size. Now inside this function, we first get the height and width of the screen with the help of viewport. Now once we have these two things, we can calculate the aspect ratio of the screen by dividing the width by height. If the screen is in landscape, the width is going to be greater than the height. Thus we get a value greater than 1. And for portrait, it will be smaller than 1. And similarly, if the screen size is roughly the shape of a square, we will get a value close to 1. So, if the ratio is between 0.8 to 1.2, we will load our square sized image into the texture. Otherwise, if the ratio is less than 0.8, that means the screen size is in portrait. So, we load our portrait image. And if these two conditions are false, then we know the screen is in landscape. So, we load the landscape image. And that's it. You can now play the game and see that the image is changing perfectly and looking perfect in every screen size. And now you can use this in whatever way you want. One of the best way is to use an animation player to animate it. Here I have a simple animation in which I have changed this transparency and set it in loop. So now it looks like this. You can create any sort of effect with the animation player. The possibility are really huge and everything depends on your imagination. Well, that's it for this video. The main reason for this video is to show you how you can use multiple images to keep the image distortion free. And now, how do you use it in your game is all up to you. So, if you found this small video helpful, then do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Godot related content. So, for now, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.